This is Julia Roberts. Julia is 25 years old and weighs 300 pounds. She is 5 foot 6 and has a BMI of 47. She is classified as extremely obese. She is also pre-diabetic and suffers from depression. Julia says that she is ready and determined to lead a healthier lifestyle. Her motivation is to live a longer life and be there for her young child. Good nutrition is a part of leading a healthy lifestyle. Eating healthy and exercising at a pace right for Julia, she can reach and maintain a healthy weight and reduce the risk of disease. My plate emphasizes five food groups that provide specific nutrients. Eating these foods balanced and at a right portion for Julia, she can succeed in losing weight. The first food group is grains. Whole grains should be about 30% of your plate. The second and third food groups are vegetables and fruits. All provide important vitamins and minerals for good health. Your plate should be 40% vegetables and 10% fruit. The fourth food group is protein. 20% of protein should be on your plate. Dairy is the fifth and last food group. A glass of milk or cup of yogurt is recommended. Good morning, Ms. Roberts. Good morning. I'm Nurse Michaela, and I'll be teaching you a few things that will improve your nutrition intake and healthy lifestyle. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a couple of questions. How do you feel about your condition at the moment? It's taking a toll on my daily life. It's hard for me to work. It's hard for me to interact with my child, so. Gotcha. Together we can choose the best way for you. What best helps for you? Best helps for me is, um, you know, pictures, videos. That kind of helps me more than just, you know, words and a whole bunch of information. So that works. Okay, and do you want family involved in your plan or anything? Yes, please, my daughter, my child. Okay, perfect. So first I'm going to start off with BMI. So BMI is body mass index. It's used to determine a person is underweight, healthy weight, overweight, or obese. So obesity may cause type 2 diabetes, stress, inability to perform tasks, or breathing problems. To avoid this, you want to avoid triggers, set goals and use rewards, and be more productive throughout the day. I also recommend that you eat smaller portions and you snack on certain foods if you find yourself hungry throughout the day, like veggies, fruits, and nuts. Weight Watchers is also a program that I recommend. It helps you create a good diet plan. So, what are your specific goals you want to achieve? Um, I want to be able to lose weight, and um, so I want to be um, able to actually get diabetes because I know I'm pre-diabetic now, and just, you know, simple ways that I'm, that's achievable for me to lose weight because going out to the gym and just starting off rough like that doesn't work. And you said you wanted your child involved. Um, I recommend that you can do little things like walks in the park or just playing in the park to help improve your exercise and also just spend some time with your daughter also I have a brochure about pre-diabetics during your journey you can write down certain things in your journal your weekly intake and how you feel about your progression toward your goal do you have any okay. questions no ma'am all right now that you've been informed can you repeat some of the information back to me I learned that if I don't lose the weight I can be more obese I can um get type 2 diabetes, and that I will have pain. I also learned that to snack on fruits instead of, um, or other vegetables other than sugar or sugar drinks. And I learned to start off small, like walks out the park or interacting with my daughter, you know, going outside to the park with her would help me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. With a nutrition and exercise plan suitable for Mrs. Roberts, she was able to lose and maintain her weight after two years. She used the information given to her by the nurse and successfully prevented diabetes.